The flags of 34 countries of the British Commonwealth of Nations proudly flew at Kingston on the royal opening of the 8th British and Empire Commonwealth Games. This was in all ways a Jamaican festival, but these happy people were also celebrating Independence Day, a time for rejoicing in freedom and the prospect of a rich harvest of world-class athletics. A day of uninhibited gaiety with a splendid evening to follow. This land, so blessed with sunshine, poured a host of visitors from all parts of the Commonwealth. The OAC showed the flag of international air travel on a scale matching the occasion. The competing athletes had already arrived. Landing now were the people coming to enjoy the sports of track, field and water at a meeting that ranked second only to the Olympics themselves. To the city of Kingston, welcome indeed. And in the majestic setting of Jamaica's National Stadium, the Games were now in full swing. Highlighting the many events, here is the dramatic finish of the men's 110 yards freestyle. A terrific duel between Wendon and Scotland's Bobby McGregor. Wendon the winner. Off the springboard, Miss MacDonald of Canada. Hey Rollat of England, she came out the winner. Our Bradshaw of Australia. Representing Canada, Miss Boys. Kay Rolat's final dive clinched her victory. The final of the women's 220 breaststroke, and only inches between the two English girls, Jill Slattery and Stella Mitchell. Jill Slattery just wins on the touch. What a moment up there to be awarded medals. A gold for Kay Rowland. A silver for Bobby McGregor, who missed the gold by inches. Jill Slattery received her gold medal, the silver going to her friendly rival, Stella Mitchell. Out in the stadium, an evening event, the 3,000 meters steeplechase. Near the finish, our Welsh of New Zealand had a good lead over his Australian rival, Kay O'Brien. Comfortable victory for Welsh in 8 minutes, 29.6. The 100 yards final. There couldn't have been an inch in it between the winner, Canada's Jerome, and Robinson of the Bahamas. Both timed at 9.4. A great win for Jerome. Ron Woolwork of Bolton won his gold medal the hard way in the 20-mile walk. The final of the six miles. A hard struggle expected here between Australian ace Ron Clark, Alder of Scotland, and from Tanzania, Umfiomi. And if the 20-mile walk was a feat of endurance, in this heat and humidity, running six miles must have been even more so. To the surprise of all came the emergence of Naftali Temu, 22 of Kenya, whose tactics and speed proved far too much for Ron Clark. 30,000 people in the stadium rose to feet to greet the fantastic speed at the finish. Already Temu was acclaimed as a giant in the field of athletics. In 27 minutes, 14.6, he established a record for the Commonwealth Games. 